Hey everybody, it's Haley, and today I'm here with Zane. Hey! Like my almost sister best. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. And we're gonna make some nacho dip because she makes a really good nacho dip, and I thought this would be great for the Super Bowl coming up. Mm -hmm. We call it touchdown taco dip. Cool. The Kansas City Chiefs and the 49ers. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, let us know in the comments which team is your team that you're rooting for at the Super Bowl this year. Okay, let's get started. So what do we do first? First, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Then we're gonna take our can of refried beans. Gotta get the can open. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta open it with your teeth. <laughs> get in there, everybody. I learned a new way to open cans recently. You like, what do you do? Like this? On the top? On the top. <gasps> and then you just put it. I literally, this is bad, but like I grew up in my mom's house and we used the same can opener for years. Yeah. And then we'd get, when I finally moved out and we partly had to go buy a new can opener and I didn't know how to use it. Like I had to look <laughs> up a YouTube video. Wait, is it working? I don't even think it's moving. Oh. Is it? Hold up. Hold up. No, it hasn't. Hold up. <laughs> it works, I promise. So much easier, totally. Wow, what a breeze that it was. <laughs> didn't take me like 15 minutes at all. That was really easy. We will put, because taco seasoning is one of the ingredients, half of the taco seasoning, or you know, just season with your heart, into the refried beans, mix it up, and then put it on the bottom. Put all the ingredients in the description. You get that in there real good. Sometimes, because I'm a lazy person, I will just do this in the pan. Oh! And that's one less dish, but you can also just use this same bowl to mix the other ingredients. Okay, that's too, a so. smart way to make less dishes. That looks perfect. So then we'll take this little dish, and we're gonna make our taco pie. Yeah, and then we're gonna spread it, our first layer all over the bottom, like a nice even thin little bean layer. Here we are, a perfect little spread here, gorgeous. And now we'll move on to the next step, which is gonna be the sour cream, the cream cheese, and the taco seasoning. So, oh, and the garlic. So we can probably just use this same bowl, but you're gonna wanna, um, I usually will get the cream cheese in like the microwave and soften it because you really want it to be like a- oh, Easy to um, stir. Like a very, by the end of it, not like frosting texture, mm -hmm. but like kind of thinner like that. Mm. Yeah. You really want everything to really combine really well. Okay, so we soften the cream cheese. No chunky chunks. Let's do this touch on top of it. It was my favorite growing up. This is what I would ask my mom to make me for my birthday. Oh no my mind. God. I would ask, I still do. Um, I'll have her ask, I'll ask her to make me this and like chicken tortilla soup. Like that's my go-to because when I was growing up, we used to have Super Bowl parties. My dad was like a super big football fan. And so we had super big Super Bowl parties. And then we just, ooh. I thought it was gonna come out a lot easier. We might need the spoon. We'll do the rest of the taco seasoning and then we'll also do some garlic. Sounds good. We'll mix her up. We'll be quiet for some mixing ASMR. So now you just take it and dump it on the top and spread it out over the top like you did the, the beans. So now this is baked for 15 to 18 minutes or until hot. Then while that's cooking, we'll shred our cheese. Okay. Did three people the grain <laughs> cheese. <laughs> there she goes, look at that. She's almost filled up this whole container. Oh, okay, right. we've been chopping away. <laughs> Shredding some cheese too. Um, but now that this is out, we're just gonna quickly put the cheese on top and then pop this back in the oven for a couple minutes just to let the cheese melt. Yum. So you can just... do 
Yeah, I like to get a good solid layer over the top. Yeah, lots of cheese. I mean, who doesn't love cheese? That's what I'm saying. You can do however much cheese you want. Yeah. I like a little bit thicker cheese too, just because the way that this recipe is, when you dip your chip in and the cheese is melted together, sometimes it'll fall off the chip, you know what I mean? So if you have more cheese, it'll stick a little better. Same temperature, 350, back in for just a couple minutes. Melt the cheese? Just to melt the cheese. So now you just take your freshly chopped toppings and you'll sprinkle it on however much you like, however much you don't like. And you can add and take away whatever you want. The recipe does have black olives in it, but some of us don't like them. Not me. And then I don't like cilantro, so we'll put a little bit on there. You can even do halvesies. Whatever you like. Really, it's such a, we were just talking, it's such a complimentary dish. You can kind of put whatever you want on. That's the onions. We love onions in this house, so most of us. We'll do some tomatoes. It's just like arts and crafts. This is the fun part. Well, make it and fun. if you want to be like crazy, you could make like your favorite football teams. <gasps> oh, yeah. make make your favorite football team's logo with the yeah. green onion. That's People a go crazy. Great idea. And if you do the black olives, even if you don't like them, you could just pick them off your chip or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or usually we'll serve it on a plate and then dip with your chip, you know. Yeah. Um, but you can make some really cool art. That's so cool. And it's good because you can. Oh yeah, my parents used to go crazy with this. Like you can do whatever you want. When I tell you this was the family dish. Like, in wow. the Super Bowl parties, my mom would make like real like patterns in it. Why? That's yeah. crazy. Then we'll just do a little dollop of cilantro. Just make it look real pretty. <laughs> that way you can take it off. It, you know, some people think cilantro tastes like soap, so you don't have to put it. And then, you know, with all the other toppings, you put as much as you want or as little as you want. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, you could just set the toppings on the side. If you have a large group of people coming, oh, and that's they can, you know, kind of do their own thing with it. But <gasps> okay, now we're gonna try it. Yum yums! Oh, whoa, so cheesy. Mm -hmm. You really want to make sure you dig down their bottom so you uh -oh. get that. Uh, oh, you're right. I left the beans. I left the beans behind. This is not a football shirt. It's just the only sports shirt I own. That would look so funny the whole video. You're like, this is my favorite football team. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll get a little chippy. Make sure you chippy. get some beans on there. Okay, beans. Of and course, then, the, ah, yummy cheese. Then you really just want to get a little bit of every topping on there. Really? It might be a little hot because we just took it out. Oh, you're right. Mmm. 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 That's mm -hmm. interesting. I like the taco seasoning. Taco seasoning is great. And the fresh veggies on top, like, I think really make it. Mmm. And then you get some cheese. Uh oh. I keep breaking my chip. <laughs> Thanks for cooking with us today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.